Hey you guys, as you see uh, it's a little dim in the studio, aka bedroom, aka RC shop. So as you see, I have a, this isn't an RC, but this is another thing I like to put on my channel, this probably might be, a, I'm not going to do a complete build on this, but this is just going to be the beginning part of the video this is as you see Hazel Gundam Hazel Gundam from let's see what's that say the Advance of Z so I think it might have something to do with the Zeta Gundam actually yeah it should it was, yeah it was the Titans logo so I'm going to okay, let me show you. She got some of the plates that it comes with. She uh, this is, by far I think this is the most plates I ever had to put together. One plate. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, five. Five plates for this. So, I'll get back to you guys later and want we'll to continue watching Judge Mathis. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm going to try to upload this video as quick as possible. If you're watching this, keep your eyes peeled because the last episode of Unicorn Gundam is going to be coming out about one month from now or is it two months from now but it's going to be coming out soon so go to YouTube go to Gundam Info go to damn what was the other one AMA channel and Bandai Entertainment's channel and they will give you some previews of the new Unicorn Gundam and they also have announced a two, two more Gundam series. Uh, one's going to be before 0079. It's going to be in the Universal Century, and the other one's going to take place in a completely different universe, from my knowledge. So uh, I will see you guys later when I'm done this kit. Uh, oh damn! What, what am I supposed to say here? Through the magic of TV editing. Oh, what was it that the fucking Max is? Yeah, any which way, you're going to see Kit in pieces, and then when you get back, it's going to be in less pieces. Okay then, well I have finished building up my Gundam. Uh, well, I mean it's not completely finished, but all I got to do at this point is just basically slap the parts together. So let's get ready to move some of this out the way. Let's get ready to construct the Hazel. This is the Hazel Gundam. There's all the parts. The thing I like about Gundams is they make these things so well that even the bad mobile suits. Look at it. Legs just sit there on, on the arm. I already put too much of it together. Just put the I'll just basically put the body parts together. Don't don't fall. I said don't fall, damn it. Trying to get all the pieces in the frame. And we got the legs, the two arms, the lower and upper upper torso, the head, backpack. One shield, 
out of the shield and a gun so you attached to a hand. In fact, right, let me just start with the body parts. Okay, now, first things first, we'll do the legs first. Uh, so nice click. Now it's time for the torso. Squeeze the head on first. It's oh, a beautiful sound. You guys squeeze the arm on. Just see, I rock it back and forth until it's nice and flush. And it is flush. Okay. Try to be gentle because you don't want to break it. Okay, so that's the upper t torso. Now, just to connect it to the bottom torso. Okay. This is the Hazel Gundam complete. He's one bulky motherfucker. MF in the legs. And right about now, I don't have his booster pack on. He looks a lot like the Big Gundam from Double O. Cause he just his his legs are just so fat and bulky. So let's see what his leg. I have no idea what his legs are capable of doing. Cause it's actually my first time putting this one together. You see the sky skirts together. Most high grades are like that. Can he do the kneeling man? And actually, yes, he can. A little tilted kneeling man, but he does it nonetheless. It also helps that he has really, really big knees. That's one Gundam put together. Let's see what he. Oh, let me put the booster pack on. Uh, it's actually being a little bit different. Oh, because it doesn't just slide on, so it's kind of like a permanent fit, which I'm not all liking too much. Uh, don't worry, that part isn't, isn't that tight that just fell off. I recommend if you, if you can get some CA glue for these thrusters because they will, will pop off. So I recommend, I will recommend gluing this. Okay, that's what it looks like with the booster. You see that booster piece? Moves in and out. Now, as you notice, his head doesn't have too much mobility yet. So I'm just finding out it. So the first time putting this Halo gun Gundam together, it looks pretty nice. Now, notice the Hit piece is a little bit on the loose side. Let's 
So you know how you're not going to get too much movement out of the head other than that. I mean you can but there's a lot more pieces to the head than what it looks like. This this is a separate piece from that which is also a separate piece from that and the V-fin obviously is a different piece because it's yellow plastic and the other one's gray. Now let's see what the arms can do. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's pretty good bend right there. And you get do a twist. Twist that all the way around. How far out does it come? Okay, 490 degree. Now it only goes that far because in this area and like some other gunners I have, it doesn't move back and forth. It only moves, the arm only moves. Let's see. I'll show you from this angle. Moves forward and backwards a tad bit. Not as much as I was hoping for. But overall the build is solid. It really feels like you could put some heavy things on his arms. Now here's the shield. Good. Mount the shield on back here to this little hole. You can't see it because my camera does not pick up things in the darkness too well. Okay. And actually, you, you can put the shield. Shield has like some type of trick to it. Or matter of fact, did I do it right? I think I did wrong. I think it's supposed to go this way. Yeah. Yes. That looks way better. Then you get some accessories. So let me show you the other accessories you get. Cool. Don't worry, it's cool. There's a small fall. Oh, my camera almost fell. Yeah, uh, you get that out of the way. You get a shield. You get a gun. You get these extra arrow pack things. Once again. Black object, not going to come up too good. It's ba those those things are basically the same thing that's on the gun. As a matter of fact, it also pops off of here too. All right, I got a little, little plastic left on here. I'll clip that off later. Get this bit, which goes into the arm. There's actually a hole in each arm where you could attach a shield to. And you get this. Let me already show you that. You get two of these little things. You also get a beam saber. Which now I think I actually had the beam saber handout on. We attach this. Oh, I can tell I'm not going to be liking this hand. Because the hand. This is how how the hand goes for the beam saver. It's kind of small. My fingers are kind of big. 
goes in like that. But I want to stick the beam saver in the hand. Which is this is gonna be very, very tricky. Another part I might see if I could get away with some some glue or maybe some thread lock. Oh shit, that was close. That almost fell off the edge of the table. Wow. Um, this is a... Uh, okay, I'm going to assume you stick the beam saver in like that, and then you just... close. Oh, it's still not holding. <laughs> still is not holding. I, I, I wish they gave you two of these beam savers because that just does not want to stay in can I have to hold it and then stick it in hopefully I could get this onto the hand Oh wow, I actually got it. Okay. But that could fall out at any time. I might I might just be sticking to leaving the beam saver in its hole. Let me reposition it so it doesn't fall because when you put the shield on, it does become a little Top heavy as as expected. You know, these things are just toys, or well, actually models of what. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Well, if you did, so what? They're just models of robots that I would love to do <laughs> see in real life. Well, they try to make them as accurate as possible. Very good. This is actually a very good good model. Uh, I should have built this one. I, I, I meant to build this a long time ago. I was just tired and lazy. So, I'm going to make a, another one. Ooh, this is, this is getting pretty long. Yeah, I'm going to make another video in correspondence with this one. It's, it's going to be a lot shorter than this video.